still going we're gonna be working on this over here today we got some parts and everything so I'll show you what we're getting into so this is all hooked up we gonna make the battery boxes for the batteries still for this well, we got some parts for this I was able to get the battery out finally I think it was frozen in there we're definitely gonna be redoing the seat or getting a new one we got carburetor, carburetor cable, and choke, uh, front brakes, rims and tires. So I'm going to be tearing the whole air box out, carburetor out, and we'll get that switched out and then put the new battery in it, pull the rims and tires, check the brakes, and go through everything and hopefully she'll start again. She's definitely a little beat up. I did buy it for my old man. Oh, probably shit. 15 years ago or something for Father's Day. He drove it a couple of times. And then he parked it. And then never touched it again. I used it for a little bit. And it's been sitting for quite a long time. So we'll be getting into this. Hopefully we'll have a toy to play with again. So we got the filter off. We're definitely going to need a new one of these. It's pretty dry rotted. And we got a mouse knife. Let's see if there's anything in it. No. no. We got that all cleaned out. Find the bolt holes. Let's see. Anything. So there's nothing in the bottom. So it looks like tabs here and we'll pull the hose this thing through let's lose that out and we should be able to pull the box out so we can get to the carburetor all right so we got the air box out how we get to the carburetor get this pulled off i think it's dirty it needs to be clean the little boot was a pain so this is the reason why I have been running it for quite a while. So, this part's fine. That wasn't the problem. The problem was the choke broke, so the cable doesn't sit there anymore and pull it up and down. So it froze in. That was the end of it. So that's why I got a brand new carb. So we're going to undo that. Pull everything out, unplug it. Plug the new one in. So we got the gas straighting. The tub, we got the carburetor off. I think it's unplugged. Now I have to pull the choke cable out. Oh, I forgot where that is. There it is. There it is. So one of the last things we got to get out. Brand new one. This one yeah, barely moves. And we can't have that. Twisty. wrench for that so we'll find a wrench for that get that unbolted and we slide the neutral cable in and blow all this off 
Because this thing's really fucking dirty. All right, so we're going to get the front plastics all off. And then go from there. We got to get to the choke cable and everything, so that's all got to come off so we can get to the gas tank, too. All All right, so got all the plastics off. Definitely gonna have to clean that radiator. Still holding the antifreeze, still green. We got a little anxious and we'll put the new tires on. Just the one front for right now. Let's see how it's gonna clear and everything. We're gonna be doing the push bar over again and all that. So now that we got all the plastic off and everything, all right, still have some more parts I have to order. I gotta get the ship linkage. Uh, I ordered these, uh, the brake cylinders, because they're bad, so I got four of them for up front, so we're going to be waiting on them to do the brakes and the shifter, in the meantime, we can, like, redo the front push bar and everything, how uh, we got the tank off, we can clean that, it's on the truck, we get this area pretty much blown out and everything of all the debris, all the lice shit, everything. Now we can get to the choke and get that unbolted and get it pulled out, slide the new choke in. So let's get the new cable in so we can sit the carb in. All right, old choke cable. Now she's all busted up up here, all the way down at the end. There's a new one. New piece, all work. I got uh, all the bracketry and the extra choke. And the carburetor came with the choke installed already, so now we can just put the new cable in and then we can hook it up to that, hook the throttle up, the gas, but we'll have to wait until we get the gas can cleaned, but at least we can get the choke on. Now we're going to go put the carb on, uh, I'll show you after it's in. You are going to need a pair of needles pliers to be able to grab that, so you can pull your choke out, make sure you put a little bit of lubrication on it, nothing that's going to hurt the seals. Just so it stays lubricated, and then you put your cable in your hole, pull it through, put your spring on, and I'm done. Alright, so 
so next time uh, I'll have that all taken apart and cleaned uh, old carburetor back in its box We're done new carburetor is in everything's hooked up choke throttle so see choke works That works. It's working. I won't know until it's running, but the garb is in, so we're gonna do a new fuel line. Uh, we got our ports and vacuums, everything will go in the box. We gotta clean the box. Uh, I need a new new clampy for this one. This one's all stripped out, so we got a new clampy and then we'll do the snorkel thing up and through because that literally is deep as you can go. So you're like this deep with it before it starts sucking water up in the box supposed to be a sealed box wasn't doing very good we'll fix that so we'll add the snorkel and the piping all the way up to here so we're like up at the headlight i don't ever go deeper than this anyways but it's always good to have it just in case so till next time 